With good news for today from Baptist Press, I'm Brandon Porter. Despite the ups and downs of the recent COVID pandemic, a survey recently released by Infinity Concepts and Gray Matter Research says that the strong majority of evangelicals are happy with their local church. 85% of those surveyed are satisfied with the length of sermons and services. 68% are satisfied with the amount of political involvement and or political messages. 77% are fine with the number of women in church leadership, including 78% of women. And 74% are satisfied with the level of racial and ethnic diversity in their church. Congregational satisfaction doesn't necessarily indicate biblical correctness or church effectiveness, researchers say. The study reflects what evangelicals want in a church. Sometimes what we want isn't necessarily what we need or what's good for us, said Gray Matter Research President Ron Sellers. The study was conducted among 1,000 evangelical Christians in the U.S. When we come back, we'll hear about a church that's stepping up to the plate when it comes to missions giving. Stay with us. Good News for Today is made possible through our friends at The Voice of the Martyrs, a nonprofit organization that serves persecuted Christians around the world. Founded in 1967 by Richard and Sabina Wormbrand, VOM is dedicated to inspiring believers to deepen their commitment to Christ and to fulfill His Great Commission, no matter the cost. Find out more and sign up for their free monthly magazine at vom.org slash goodnews. Thanks for listening to Good News for Today. I'm Brandon Porter. First Baptist Church Concord near Knoxville, Tennessee, presented the International Mission Board with a $100,000 check on the first Wednesday night of 2022 for the Lottie Moon Christmas offering. It pushed their Lottie Moon Christmas offering total to $425,000 in 2021. Overall, the church gave around $1.3 million to missions in 2021, according to Pastor John Mark Harrison. Harrison said the church is having a special worship night each Wednesday in January to celebrate the renovation of its worship center Center, and the members wanted to emphasize the importance of missions giving during their very first service in the new facility. Find more stories like these at baptistpress.com. Subscribe to Good News for Today wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks for listening. I'm Brandon Porter.